The capital and largest city of France is Paris. It is situated in northern France along the Seine River and is well known for its iconic landmarks. Paris is renowned for its fashion, cuisine, and extensive cultural heritage. It is regarded as one of the most well-liked travel hotspots worldwide. Paris is a one-stop destination for tourists because to its stunning skyline, vibrant city life, and historic attractions. You will experience a spectacular sight of museums, palaces, and monuments that characterize history as you stroll through the energetic streets of Paris. While Paris has a dreamy feel to it because to its vintage aura, there are also upscale restaurants and cafes that add to the city's ethereal atmosphere. The optimum time for the holiday seasons is when visitors may see malls and other shopping areas in the big cities. Let's have a look at best places to visit in Paris. Number 1. Arc de Triomphe A well-known structure in Paris is the Arc de Triomphe. It was constructed between 1806 and 1836 as a homage to the French soldiers and those who fought for France, particularly during the Napoleonic Wars, and is situated at the western end of the Champs Elysees. One of the most well-known structures in Paris is the Arc de Triomphe, which is located in the middle of Place Charles de Gaulle. Its 50-meter height is embellished with sculptures and inscriptions that honor various moments and people from French history. For a sweeping perspective of the city, visitors can ascend to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. An iconic image of Paris and France is the Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe is a monument of neoclassical design, and it was designed by Jean Chalgrin. Number 2. The Louvre One of the most well-known museums in the world is the Louvre, which is situated in Paris. It is located in the Louvre residence, which was initially constructed in the late 12th century as a stronghold and afterwards utilized as a royal palace. One of the world's oldest museums, the museum was formally opened to the public in 1793. The Louvre is well known for its collection of works of art and artifacts from all over the world, spanning antiquity to the modern era. Egyptian antiquities, Near Eastern antiquities, Greek, Etruscan, and Roman antiquities, Islamic art, sculpture, decorative arts, paintings, and prints and drawings are the eight curatorial divisions that make up the museum's collections. Number 3. Jardin des Tuileries In the first district of Paris, there is a public garden called the Jardin des Tuileries. One of Paris' most renowned gardens is located between the Place de la Concorde and the Louvre Museum. As the Garden of the Tuileries Palace, which housed French kings and queens until it was destroyed in 1871. The park was initially constructed in the 16th century. The park's symmetrical lawns, flower beds, and sculptures were designed in the French formal garden style. Numerous sculptures, including those by well-known artists like Auguste Rodin, Aristide Maillol, and Jean-Baptiste Carpeau, may be found throughout the garden. Additionally, the garden features two sizable ponds, one of which has a central fountain, as well as numerous additional smaller fountains. Number 4. Galleries Lafayette High-end French department store chain Galleries Lafayette. It was established in 1895 and is well known for its flagship location on Boulevard Haussmann in Paris, which has a sizable dome and is regarded as one of the best examples of Art Nouveau construction. The shop sells a wide variety of goods, including clothing, accessories, cosmetic products, home furnishings, and gourmet food. Several additional department stores and businesses are run by Galleries Lafayette in France and other nations. Throughout the year, Galleries Lafayette also presents a variety of cultural occasions and exhibitions, including fashion shows and art exhibits. A well-liked tourist attraction, the store's unique dome provides views of the city from the rooftop patio. Number 5. Palais Garnier Famous opera house in Paris is called the Palais Garnier. One of the most notable examples of French Second Empire architecture, it was constructed by the architect Charles Garnier between 1861 and 1875. The structure, which houses both the Paris Opera and the Opera National de Paris, is renowned for its grand staircase, opulent interior design, and the chandelier room. The 1910 book, the Phantom of the Opera, by Gaston Leroux, also has references to the Palais Garnier. 
Visitors can enjoy guided tours of the Palais Garnier, which includes the auditorium, the stage, and the renowned Grand Staircase. The structure also houses a museum where costumes, sets, and other memorabilia from the Paris Opera's past are on show. Number 6. Sacré-Cœur Basilica On top of the Montmartre Hill in Paris is a Roman Catholic church called the Sacré-Cœur Basilica. As a memorial to the suffering endured by the French people during the Franco-Prussian War and the Paris Commune in 1870 and 1871, it was constructed between 1875 and 1914. The church is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Paris and from its hilltop elevation provides a panoramic view of the city. The basilica stands out in the Paris skyline thanks to its huge dome, travertine stone construction, and white tint. The mosaic above the altar, which shows Christ with his sacred heart exposed, is one of the most well-known mosaics in the Sacré-Cœur Basilica. Number 7. Seine River A Seine River in northern France, the Seine runs through the center of Paris. It is France's main commercial canal and is 776 kilometers long. Beginning in Burgundy, the river travels through the Paris Basin and empties into the English Channel in Le Havre. With numerous ports and boat services located along its length, the Seine River serves as a vital river for transit. It is also a well-liked location for outdoor pursuits like boating and fishing. The Eiffel Tower and the renowned Pont Neuf are only two of the river's numerous bridges that are well-known. Numerous well-known sites, including Notre Dame Cathedral, the Louvre Museum, the Musée d'Orsay, and others, may be found along the river. Number 8. Notre Dame de Paris Dame de Paris, also known simply as Notre Dame, is a medieval Catholic cathedral located in the fourth arrondissement of Paris. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and largely regarded as one of the best examples of French Gothic architecture. The church is renowned for its stunning stained glass windows and numerous exquisite sculptures. A fire seriously destroyed it in 2019 but restoration work is now being done to fix the damage and bring the cathedral back to its former splendor. The construction of Notre Dame de Paris began in the 12th and 13th centuries and was finished in the 14th. The cathedral was constructed in the Middle Ages' favorite Gothic style. Number 9. Eiffel Tower In Paris, there is a famous monument called the Eiffel Tower. As the entrance arch for the 1889 World's Fair, which was hosted in Paris to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution, it was constructed between 1887 and 1889. Gustave Eiffel, a French architect and engineer who oversaw the tower's construction, created the tower's design. The Eiffel Tower is the tallest building in Paris and is built of iron. Its height is roughly 324 meters. The first and second floors of the tower, which provide excellent city views, as well as the top level, which provides a panoramic perspective of Paris, are the three levels that are accessible to the general public. The tower's summit can be reached by elevator, and visitors can also reach the second floor by taking the steps. Number 10. Quartier Latin the Sorbonne and the Luxembourg Garden are located in the Quartier Latin area of Paris. It is renowned for its vibrant energy, abundance of bookstores, and long-standing ties to the intellectual and cultural elite. The neighborhood was previously home to numerous students of Latin and other languages who attended the Sorbonne and other nearby universities, hence the name Latin Quarter. The Quartier Latin is now a well-liked tourist site and the center of Parisian student life. The numerous cafes, bars, and restaurants of the Quartier Latin are also well known and have long been a favorite hangout for intellectuals, artists, and authors. Le Du Magots, Café de Flore, and Brasserie Lip are some of the most well known coffee houses in the region. Famous people, including Ernest Hemingway, James Joyce, and Pablo Picasso, have all been known to frequent these establishments.